Namaste. Welcome on board. Hello and welcome to Adachi Uchendu's La Address. My name is Adachi Uchendu and today we're celebrating the start of APC Alliance regular scheduled flights between Lagos and Mumbai International Airport. <music> to celebrate this new milestone, they have put together a very colorful ceremony. Don't forget, India is a land of incredibly diverse festivals. <music> ceremony of our Mumbai flight operations. We are flying direct, non-stop to Mumbai. General, my dear friend, the Indian community here present, ladies and gentlemen, APC coming this day to do this flight is historic. The chairman of APC himself is a lover of India and Indians. I'm a student of the great Mahatma Gandhi. I was the one who introduced nonviolence education in Nigeria for the first time. So the relationship between India and not only the Nigerian nation, but with APC in particular, has been very, very cordial and warm. I've been evacuating Indians back to their homeland during COVID. <laughs> yes, 8,500 people. And I said that uh, one thing is certain, with this airline, I'm going to bring both countries with immense population. India is over a billion people, Nigeria is about 200 and, uh, uh, about 230 million people, Nigeria. We are coming. We can talk with you someday. <laughs> we can talk with you someday. I'm very happy about what uh, Mr. Onyama, the chairman, was uh, speaking about the relationship between India and Nigeria. I just wanted to elaborate a little more on that. We had more than 15,000 Indians in Nigeria, majorly in Lagos and in various other parts of the country. And we have an equal number of Nigerians in India. More than 5,000 of them are students over there. Nearly 55,000 Nigerians are staying in India. And about 5,000 of them are students. Just last year alone, uh, Mr. Onyama, we had given schol scholarship to 4,830 Nigerian students, 100% uh, free scholarship. The relationship actually started two years before Nigeria's independence in 1958 when we had, when we had started the diplomatic office in Lagos in, uh, two years before the independence. And from then it has been a continuous, good, cooperative journey that we have been having. We are also bringing in various hospitals and uh, wellness centers into Nigeria. I just came from another inauguration of the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry, which has brought in a few businessmen who are trying to establish some medical and wellness centers over here. So there's a lot of activities taking place between India and Nigeria. And the presence of a direct flight between our two countries is one of the most important catalysts which will certainly help in building this relationship further. I commend Atreese and Mr. Onyama and his vision in terms of identifying this gap and filling it up through this wide body aircraft and a direct flight nine hours from here straight into Mumbai. And he has plans to certainly increase more destinations in India too. 
And I can assure you, Mr. Onyema, that the High Commission and the Government of India will be fully supportive of this, this uh, cooperative action that you are saying. And uh, I wish uh, more and more bright uh, future for Air Peace and more operations. And this would certainly strengthen. This is a major bridge that you are creating to strengthen the relationship between our two countries. High Commissioner has explained the bilateral relationship between India and Nigeria. And I am sure that this will be cemented more by this bridge of air peace flight. And uh, we will work it out with the management that how better way we can go ahead with the visa so that they don't have at least difficulty on this count. I assure you that it will not be a problem. We wish you happy journey to the uh, passengers today and we wish air peace a brighter future. Let's take a look at the aircraft that will embark on this historic journey. It is a Boeing 777-200 extended range with registration number 5 November Bravo Victor Echo. The name is Ife Chupu. Flight P47545 is a Nigeria's first registered Boeing 777. I still remember the day it arrived Moritala Mohammed International Airport from Dublin, flown by a Nigerian captain on a Nigeria license. The airline is quite familiar with the India airspace. The heart, during the pandemic, flew more than 8,000 Indians back home on a chartered flight. But this is their first commercial flight. Flight to Mumbai, first Nigerian airline to fly direct to Mumbai. And it's a big achievement. Now we can take care of the large Indian community in Nigeria and also on the West Coast. And um, we are very happy, very pleased to be pioneers for this flight. We are excited to be here for the Indian community, and not only just Indians, but also Nigerians. I'm sure a lot of Nigerians love this city, so we are excited. So are you doing a lot with our captain? Uh, captain is taking the first day. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Remember her? Quincy Owens. As a first officer, she and Captain Simisola Ajibola made history when they led all indigenous female crew flights operated by Apis Airlines. Get to know all about her and that historic flight right here on this channel. So I'll leave a link. If you haven't seen that video, it is a must watch. She is always a delight. I'm glad to have uh, this flight here. And uh, it's good uh, that uh, we are the first uh, airline from uh, West Africa to fly uh, direct to India. And uh, that's good for our uh, economy, trade, and uh, communication between the two people. Where are you from? From Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thank you very much. And I wish you safe flight. that one, you know. It's operated by Nigerians only, okay? <laughs> Captain, I wish you safe flight. Okay, thank you. Bye. 60 passengers in total, with very few non-Indian passengers on board. Flight time is 9 hours. And it takes about 8 hours or so, no stop at all. So very convenient. Even though I'm going to Delhi, but I, I have a direct connection Hello? from the uh, as soon as I land in Mumbai. So I think it should be a successful, you know, flight yeah. to and fro. So, but uh, I would say the the experience locally is, is average or on the good side. It's okay. It's a good airline. Let's see what happens on the international side. Okay. Do you have any other airline that you go direct with? Oh yes, yes. You know, you have Qatar Airways. You have Ethiopia. Okay. Uh, yeah, but this is direct from Nigeria. Yes, this direct from Nigeria, it has no stop yes. So that's the best advantage we okay. have. And uh, it saves a lot of time. It's going to give a lot of convenience to 
mothers that travel with children. Yes. You know, they don't have to stay you know, yeah, go in transit, spend a few hours at any the airport. You know, mm -hmm. so it will be very convenient for families. Also. What do you have to say concerning the fare? The, the fare. Oh, it's very good. Very, 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 very economical, and I hope they keep it like that for the next ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Father, for this journey, mercy. Street front, direct, no stopover, nothing. Just God, this is a dream come true. Welcome to Mumbai International Airport. Hello, world. Incredible India. Namaste. The airport looks massive, like massive. So when you compare with where you're coming from, like you ask yourself and you're like, what exactly is our problem? Like it's massive. I just wish that we can upgrade. What we have is just just something small compared to what I've seen going around the world. The next stop for me should be China because I've never been there. But if you have a place, I'm here to see a place more better than. But anyways, thanks to Airbus for this direct flight to Mumbai. What does the future hold for this airline? In the next two, three weeks, we start the first Saudi Arabia. London is calling and several other destinations. We wish you all the best Thank in you. your future flights. The ceremonial lamp was lit and passengers were welcomed with flowers upon arrival at Mumbai International Airport.